Welcome back to another edition of Rudy's Rants with Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Show Mott, and I am here to rant a little bit because it's been a minute since I have. As you can hear, I'm hoarse. I've been battling the flu for about two, three weeks now. It's not pleasant, but um, getting my my voice is a little bit hoarse, but it is what it is. Got to stay on the grind. Got to get that content out to you guys. As there's a lot of stuff that's been popping off that I haven't had a chance to speak on. Most recently, about a week or so ago, Cormani McLean has committed to the University of Florida. Welcome back home, Cormani McLean. I mean, I'm a Hurricane fan. I'm from South Florida. But this was the school that McLean initially committed to out of high school. He committed to Florida before switching over to the Hurricanes, before then finally signing with Colorado. Now, the interesting component to his commitment is that he did not get a scholarship. He is going as a walk-on to University of Florida. What does this mean? It means that they're giving him an NIL deal that's clearly large enough to pay for school. And that is the difference. That is a huge difference now with what in the past has existed. If a team is filled with their scholarships and has no available scholarships and they do want a player and they want to find a way to get him in, they can obviously work out NIL deals that cover his tuition. But this is a bit weird because Cormani McLean was the number one cornerback in America last year. The situation at the University of Colorado clearly did not work out. Cormani's high school coach has talked crap about him. Deion Sanders sideways shredded him publicly. And now you have a guy, and, and of course, Cormani McLean's mother has not helped by her comments on social media. And then Cormani McLean himself has not helped himself with the stuff he's been on saying on social media, which I'm convinced has gotten him blackballed in certain areas and taken away potential opportunities for himself because these coaches talk. They know what's going on. So no matter how good he might be, if Dion couldn't handle him, who could? So you have a situation at hand where he is now committed to Florida, but he's going on an NIL package, which obviously will pay for his tuition because he's a state resident. And for those of you that don't know, the tuition for state schools in Florida is very, very low. And I mean, it costs less to go to a state school in Florida than to go to a private high school for one school year. Like you could go to school for, you could go to a state university in Florida for four years for less than it costs to go to a lot of private schools in Florida, anywhere for one year. I think it might be like at the end of four years. I know when I was in school, you could go to school for four years for less than $10,000 for four years in tuition. I think now it might be 15. So between four years, you could go to school for $15,000, something like that. There's a lot of private schools in South Florida and Florida alone, anywhere in the country, that one school year is 15 grand, maybe 20. I know schools like American Heritage and Pinecrest and um, Gulliver Prep, Ransom Everlades in South Florida. Those schools are 20, 30, $35,000 for one school year. That said, it's telling that he is going to school on an NIL deal and not a scholarship. What is it telling me? It tells me that no one wanted him. So I, that's what I see. That's my opinion. I can't be sure. But it tells me that a lot of the schools that he probably was looking at did not want him. They did not want to take that chance to give him a scholarship because of the stuff that they have heard and the stuff that he has said and his mother and everybody, everyone involved. 
think it's really important for high school athletes and college athletes to be very careful about what they do on social media. Because what you do on social media can get you in trouble. It can cost you opportunities. And right now, Billy Napier, the coach of Florida, is on the hot seat. I know lots of Gator fans. And most Gator fans I know cannot stand Billy Napier. And they want him gone. So you're taking on a, you're taking on a kid who is known to cause pro- is known to, I don't want to say cause problems, but it's definitely not easy to deal with. And you're taking that on that project. You better be right, bro. You better be right. Because if you're not, I don't think Billy Napier survives another season at Florida. I mean, I think he goes for the season, but he'd be gone at the end of the year if they're not, if they don't win. I don't mean win a championship. I just mean win. Be, be a nine-win team again. Just, uh, it's, a, it's, it's one of those risky things because obviously the talent is there. The ability is there. The skill is there. But the coachability, that's the question. Is he going to be coachable? Is he going to allow himself to learn? Will he humble himself? And clearly he didn't do enough of that at Colorado. And uh, he and Dion didn't work out. But when you are that high of a recruit and you end up going to school in an NIL deal, Instead of a scholarship, that's weird. That's really weird. And this is the newest way, it seems, to get players in when you don't have scholarships, but you also have to have enough money, NIL-wise, to pay tuition. Which I'm sure his NIL package is big, so I wouldn't be concerned about that. But he's not going on a scholarship, so we shall see what happens. I wish him the best. I mean, I'm a Canes fan, so do I say that I hope he does great? No, because I'm a Canes fan. I want to. We play them on August 31st, and uh, we shall see if he's a starter for the University of Florida. And there have been talks about <clears throat> if Miami would take him. Miami wasn't going to touch him not after he did what he did to bail on the Canes on signing day. That was never going to happen. You can't create culture if you bend over to players. Culture is created by being disciplined and not kissing ass. And there's enough ass that has to get kissed with players nowadays with all these deals and all that stuff. You can't kiss ever you can't kiss ass like that for someone that already bailed on you. I do wish him the best. I, I hope he does great and I hope he's successful. But he needs to make himself coachable. If he does that, I'm sure he'll be fine. But make yourself coachable, bro. Because if you're not, career won't last very long. That's all I got. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a good one. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.